Spider-Man has to have had one of the coolest superhero costumes of all time. And with that comes an iconic mask. Anyone can wear the mask is a quote that shapes the character, allowing anybody of any race or gender or sexuality to be under that mask. And with all that out of the way, let's check out the mask that I have created so far as a cosplayer. So, this is my Ultimate Spider-Man V1 mask, and it is called that for a reason. For a reason! Yeah, so this mask obviously was heavily inspired by Mark Bagley's artwork for Ultimate Spider-Man. And fun fact, this was originally gonna be the mask that would go with this suit before I later changed my mind and made an entirely new mask, which is the Ultimate Spider-Man V2 mask, which I'll be covering in a few minutes. Anyways, I like this mask, but I do have a few problems with it. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Firstly, these eyes are way too big, and the whole mask comes off as more of a Todd McFarlane-esque mask due to it. And I don't really like that, which is one of the reasons why I changed it to the V2 mask. Also, the eye holes, I cut them too big. Like, they're too big. So, future cosplayers out there, Please cut the eye holes to be like a, a slight bit bigger than your actual like eyes. So then you can see, don't go too big because then your freaking face will get stuck to the mesh. One more problem, the webs were not done well on this mask like at all. I don't know why I didn't put time into this. Like it took me like 30 to 45 minutes to do these webs. Like they're not good. They're really not good. No God! No, God, please, no, 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 no! But yeah, that's my Ultimate Spider-Man V1 mask. So this is my Steve Ditko Spider-Man mask, as you can see. And this is definitely one of my best Spider-Man masks. And somehow this is the second one I've ever made right behind that. But yeah. This mask is pretty good. So good. I really love this mask and I don't have as many problems with it. Obviously, the mask is the same, but you know, that's kind of how it is for like six out of nine of these masks. <laughs> that's kind of funny, honestly. But anyways, this web pattern was more inspired by the Lotus web pattern. Um, and the eyes were a bit more of my own spin on Steve Ditko's lenses because I wanted to really get that curve and edge to them. Also, as you can see, these webs are much cleaner than my previous mask. Yeah, I like, I spent two hours on this web pattern, which y'all might have to get used to if you're doing Spider-Man webs. Take your time, especially on suits and stuff. But yeah. That's my uh, Steve Ditko mask. I don't have any problems with this one, so <laughs> this is a bit of a quick section. All right, now we're getting the masks that I think are definitely way better than my other two masks. And with that, this is my Olsen Spider-Man V2 mask. Haha, <laughs> you suck. I should probably go pick that up. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, it's definitely better than V1. The web pattern is much cleaner on this one and I took a lot more time on it. The lenses are way better and more accurate to the Mark Bagley Ultimate Spider-Man art. One thing I would like to mention about these lenses is how unlike my previous two that had white lenses, these are silver, like aluminum metallic silver in a sort of way. I used a different spray paint and you probably already know this if you are a fan of my channel and have seen my tutorial on how to make this and the suit itself. And yeah, as you know, I made it similarly to this mask and a couple of the other ones. Water bottle stupid. But yeah, that is my Ultimate Spider-Man V2 mask. Yeah! Okay, um, uh. Wow, another mask that goes with the suit. Yeah, this is the Spectacular Spider-Man mask. And as you know, it's a Spectacular Spider-Man mask. I mean, of course it's awesome. But yeah, I really like this mask a lot. It's definitely the most cartoony mask I've made so far, I'd say. Cause 
these lenses are much more curved than my other ones and I curved them for a reason so they can be more accurate to the show. And it's not white. Yeah, so most of these masks that go from my ultimate mask further down, pretty much almost all of them are different colored for eye mesh. And this is a cream color because in the show, they never colored Spider-Man's eyes white. They were actually more of a cream color, so it was like a yellowish white. And I really liked that about the show and I wanted it to translate over to the suit I was making. So yeah, that's why it's a cream color. And this web pattern is much more simple. This actually didn't take very long. I think it took like 30 minutes, but yeah. This is my spectacular Spider-Man mask. And, uh, oh God. No, no! Okay, now we can talk about Todd McFarlane. I love his art, okay, yeah. His toys, uh, I don't love them, okay? Uh, I, that's a hot take, I know. Uh, my channel's all about hot takes if y'all already watched some of my videos. I was looking through some old photos and it looks very uh, similar. Yeah, I really like this mask. I mean, I don't love it, but I like it. It does have a few problems with it, which I will go down pretty quickly because this mask is very simple. I don't know why I put puff paint on these lenses because that the was like so stupid. You're trash. And I just put glue and then tried to see what it'd be like, but no. Next time you do something like this, put some foam as like places to put your glue instead so then the foam will glue to the mask and not the mesh itself because the mesh will often try to remove itself from there, which isn't very good. So I highly suggest put some foam underneath it and then glue it. I have huge lenses because you know how Todd McFarlane is. He's got giant lenses like Jesus. I just realized this. I never actually posted this mask on my Instagram. I might have to do that. I might have to. But yeah, that's the black suit mask. What's going on gang? It's your boy Miles Morales. Hey. Okay. Yeah, this is my Miles Morales mask, in my opinion. This is definitely one of my best masks. I'm, I love this thing. But yeah, this is the last morph mask I'm actually gonna be covering in this video. But yeah, as you can see, the web was were puff painted and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I did not sketch these webs. I am so shocked on how I was able to do this. With just reference photos. So I didn't use a pencil or marker or anything to sketch out where the webs are gonna go. No, I just did that crap. I did that and I don't care, man. I would say though, I have an issue with the lenses. And I mean, I kind of have this issue with multiple of these lenses. As you just heard, correct. Cause I put way too much spray paint on there for red and I didn't have red plastic at the moment. And yeah, I suggest doing that, but you still can use red spray paint. Just don't go like, 15 coats, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I used like three giant coats on this for red paint and yeah, it was not good. So I highly suggest just do like, if you wanna do a major coat, just do one major coat of spray paint, please. But this is my Miles Morales mask and yeah, I really like this mask, it's pretty cool. If I was doing one alternate version of Spider-Man, I had to do another. And why not do Spider-Man 2099, obviously. Spider-Man 2099 is my favorite version of Spider-Man besides Peter Parker. I know all you Miles fans are gonna come at me, okay? okay. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my Spider-Man 2099 mask. And if you notice that my voice is muffling, this mask ain't very breathable, okay? I'm breathing out of these eye holes right here, okay? I'm breathing out of these. And that is because the fabric isn't very breathable. And that kind of sucks because I love the way this moves. And I think it's like a royal blue shiny satin fabric. Comment if I'm wrong and stupid, but these lenses are pretty damn sick. I love these lenses. And yeah, they have these. Cause honestly, I actually like these. I kind of wish I kept those on my design of the 2099 suit. And by the way, I just want a clarification. I don't hate the 2099 suit, okay? I just don't like certain aspects to it. It's not a bad suit, don't get me wrong. It just, it doesn't feel like Spider-Man. Really. But yeah, that is my 2099 suit. 
All right, we only got two more masks to cover and why not start it off with first mask I've ever sewn? Well, technically it's the first success because the mask previously before this kind of broke. Yeah, um, that wasn't good, but yeah. This mask is the Harmonious Spider-Man mask inspired by the art I did for my spider Sona, which hopefully I'll be able to make that suit soon, but I won't guarantee it. As you can see, these lenses are super glossy and I did that for a reason. I have them, they are glossy because these lenses are actually, the frames in them are actually purple. And that is because obviously concept art, but you know, I just really wanted shiny lenses and I thought they were perfect. And they do have a bit of the cracking problem that the Miles lenses do, but they're way less because, you know, I used only one coat actually this time, so ha ha ha. And yeah, the inside are yellow instead of white, fully pitched yellow. And I really like that. And yeah. All right, now we can end off my mask collection so far with my Spider-Man Lotus mask. And yeah, I think this is definitely one of the best masks I've ever made. But I still have problems with it. And those problems mostly lie in the eyes. You see, if you look at my mask and then look at the actual Lotus mask, you know, it's a bit different because these are way thicker. I used thick foam because I thought thinner foam to do those details and stuff, but I should have just used the same kind of foam for this, but I didn't, I just used super thick foam and it doesn't make the mask like terrible. It just doesn't make it as accurate. And the lenses are silver, like my uh, ultimate mask. And as you can see, this eye is doing pretty good, but this one has a few like crumbles in it. And I don't love that. Besides that, this mask is pretty good. The puff paint job is like some of my best work. Like I did screw up a little bit right here, but I was able to fix it and it still looks really good. And I used Liverpool. I used Liverpool fabric uh, that I sewed together, hand sewed. Actually all the sewn masks that I sewed were sewn by me, like the 2099 mask, Harmonious and Lotus mask. Those are all sewn by me. Everything else, pretty sewn. But yeah, that is my Lotus mask. Hey guys, welcome to the end of the video. And yeah, I just wanna say, sorry I've been gone for a month. I was gone for like three weeks, which I kinda really didn't have a reason. I'm just like, hey guys, I got a brain fart, see ya. And then, yeah, I peaced out for like three weeks because honestly, I really didn't have any ideas. And then, you know, I come back for one video, a five minute video, and then I disappear for a month. And I'm sorry about that. I've been in the process of moving and if you already can tell by the new setup, yeah, I am sorry, uh, but yeah. New stuff is to be coming. I got a lot in store and hopefully I can get new gear and equipment so I can make my videos as good as possible for y'all. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to subscribe, you can, but yeah, see you guys.